talking about IBF Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Title. 13 and 0 champion Bin Long Ming. I believe that's right. Out of China, M E N G Ming is taking on Frank Bugliani. The 22, 3 and 1. Now this this is interesting. This is a hard fight. You know, to, to me, at least it is to me. And then if you are familiar with the Double RT Box Show, which you are watching, um, I am your host, Mr. A. You know me. You know the show. You know what to come accustomed to. We, we cover the rankings, and I I pick a lot of people wrong. Sometimes I, I like styles make fights. I don't necessarily go on what your past history is. Just the styles make fights. And Frank Bugliani and uh, Feng Long Ming. This fight, this fight reminds me of uh, the what's the what's the fight he had? Burton, who, the Burton fight with uh, Bugliani. Now will Ming tire out like Bugliani did? I mean, not Bugliani, like the way Bugliani tired uh, Hurston Burton, what's, uh, what's his name? Hosha, Hosha Burton. You guys know who I'm talking about in the UK. I've seen that fight. I've seen the Craig Richardson fight, Colin Johnson. I've seen all these um, Bugliani fights, but the one star I can say who mimics um, Fei Long the best, Fan Long Ming, is the, the Burton fight. Feng Long is going to move around the ring. He's going to jab. Breaking these fighters down. I think the champion has better footwork. I think he could use the ring better. I think he has a... Because to me, he used the ring to keep the separation. Paw out a jab and he he he'll throw a, bellow, a, a bolo body shot, a hook. He fights off his movement while Frank kind of just walks you down. Doesn't cut off the ring. He tries to bully you. And that's what he, I think that's what he's going to try to do here. You know, they're both, you got an orthodox and the challenger of Frank. You got a southpaw and the champion, the Chinaman. Uh, a one inch advantage in height for the, the champion. Don't know much about the reach. 13 and 0, like I said, with 8 KOs. 22, 3 and 1 with 16 KOs. Now, again, this is for the IBF Intercontinental. This is, uh, Feng Long Ming is ranked number 11. So Frank Bulliana is trying to get into the rankings with this fight. That's why this fight is being covered right here on the Double Action Pocket Show. We cover the rankings. Number 11 is... Like I, said, I give him, I give the champion better footwork. Punch selection. Oh man, this is a, defensively, they both seem a little flawed to me. Uh, Fei Long... I don't know how to pronounce it. He just keeps his distance. I guess he has a, a high guard. Keeps his distance. He backs up with his hands down at points. So he, if you follow him, you can hit him. Bugliani, you know he's hittable. We've seen, we've seen all types of fighters hit him. You pressure him. You know, like Callum Johnson, you can just catch him off guard. But I don't think Fei Long is going to be that type of fighter. He's going to use the ring. He's going to try and let... Um, make the mistakes and give him the openings so defensively with the with the <laughs> I'm watching this Ghana fight and a research for the Albert Paraga fight some of their rings are the low level fights in Ghana their, their, their ring mats are kind of bad um Fei Long Ming is gonna like I said move around the ring he's gonna let Frank make the mistakes. Offensively, I go with the power of Frank, but the, actually the arsenal, I like the champion's arsenal. He's a, he's not quite polished, but I think Frank throws jabs, hooks. He seems to be a little wild with me. It, it doesn't quite seem controlled. It seems... Like, it, it doesn't seem planned out like an attack. He's just like, oh, it's, this is open, this is open. Fei Long actually seemed like he's planning his attack. 
he's playing it's a game plan while Bugliani seems like he fights with like whatever you give him he he he, he doesn't make the fight his own he takes what you give him and I, I don't like that you know I want a fighter to go out there and make it and I get it you got to make some adjustments on the fly but it doesn't seem like Frank Bugliani has a plan just to walk you down beat you down tire you out this if Frank is to win this fight He's gonna walk Fang Long down and he's just gonna outpower him. He's, he's just gonna beat him down to the body, like I said, because the champion is hittable. You know, he, his, his, he likes to keep the distance, move around the ring, and offensively counter you. He likes to uh, off rhythm set you. You know, he, he wants to be first. He's always trying to be first. He's not a counter puncher. He, he could do it, but he likes to, I guess he's an offensively counter puncher. You know, he, he, he likes to shoot that jab in right before you set your feet, move again, bolo body shot you, here, 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 jab you, make uh, shoulder, not shoulder, but like a pull counter instead of, instead of the right hand, like Floyd, he'll pull and then just shoot you to the, of a shot to the stomach. So um, I'm going to go with a, probably an upset here, you know, even though I, th I think Frank has some power shots, he could wear him down and beat him up. Kind of like he did Hosha, Hausa, how you pronounce that name. But I, mm, like I said, because those two styles are so similar compared to all the fights I've seen with Bugliani. Um, I'm going to go with the champion. Though. I'm going to go with an outside reach here and say that the champion is going to get a split decision, an upset, get some points, and not get knocked out. Even though I, I as I'm speaking, I'm like, why am I picking this pick? But I just like the styles. I like I like the styles make fights, and I I like movers. I like movers. So I don't know if I'm being personal with this pick or it's I really just think it. But I I think I think Fei Long is gonna move around the ring enough to score some points and surprise people with his performance. I'm going with the champion Fei Long Ming to retain his IBF Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Champion on the upset of a split decision over Frank Bugliani. I'm your host, Mr. A. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.